Shoei Isha says female jump editors need to understand the hearts of boys. Weekly Shonen Jump has never had a female editor in its 50 year history. Last week, an anonymous Twitter user sparked a conversation with a spoke of Shoei Isha visiting their university. When asked, can Wobi become editors at Shonen Jump? Shoei Ishi HR allegedly said, it's not without press precedent, but if you have to understand the hearts of boys, Huffington Post Japan reached out to Shoei Isha and confirmed that it was the company's stance towards hiring female editors. Shoei Isha's full statement said the Huffington Post is translated below. Our company conducts her seminars at a number of university campuses regarding the matter of the female editors at Jump. Our statement is as follows. It is not a precedent. They are women and Jump Plus. The publications like Shuang Young Jump have had female editors in the past. Women's fashion magazines need people who understand women's fashion regardless of gender. So far, so far a shonen manga is important to understand the heart of boy. Hearts of boys. Also, new recruits of the company are not selected based in the department. We hire suitable people for the company as well, and after they have joined, they are assigned to a place that suits them. Regarding the statement made above, we cannot answer any questions regarding the date and the name of the university it took place. Huffington Post notes that Shoei did not actually make it clear whether women can become editors at Weekly Shonen Jump. Editors at Weekly Shonen Jump have referred to the lack of female editors before. In a radio interview posted in October 2018 to celebrate the magazine's 50th anniversary, current deputy editor and chief Kohei Onishi stated frankly that Weekly Shonen Jump has never had a single female editor in its entire history. He also described the workplace as like a, a boys only high school. In a non fictional manga series, The Right Way to Make Jump by Takashi Sakurai, first published in Jump Plus in 2014, Weekly Shonen Jump deputy editor and chief Shuichi Aida said that there was no female editors working at the magazine. He explained that Jump's main target is boys about middle school age. When asked if you could hire female editors if you were editor in chief, he stated, No, I'd, I'd make the department even more mainly. The lack of female editors has raised concerns about gender discrimination in Shoeisha. In a series of now deleted tweets, manga art artist Kaori Ishikawa, who draws Rocking You from Jump Plus, commented on the issue. She wrote, It's not a matter of women should work harder in order to get hired. It's a matter of people not getting into the jump editorial team on the basis of being a woman, and I don't understand the reasoning for that. She also wrote, I'm going to keep drawing fake shonen manga for the rest of my life, so if you like fake shonen manga, please read it. One tweet, which is still public at the time of this article's posting, reads, It's painful to be told that it's a lie, but I hope that one day we'll be able to talk about it normally. I'm going to keep drawing manga, so please read it. It, if you like. And the incident has prompted Twitter users to share examples of prominent female shonen manga creators who understand the hearts of boys. A viral tweet highlighted female alchemist and silver spoon creator Hiromu Arakawa has accumulated more than 80,000 tweets. Adam News that we reached out to show Isha the for further comment in the issue when asked why Quickly Shonen Jump is different from shoujo magazines, which frankly employs male editors despite a target audience of young girls. A spokesman said, Unfortunately, at this current point in time, we cannot comment on these questions beyond. The show issues public relations team has already stated, we will however be conscious of these questions and the fact that many fans worldwide are thinking deeply about the situation.